once you have people on, on the surface of Mars and people in the outer planets, you're, you're going to start thinking about how do you, how do you call home? When most people think about x-rays, they mm. think about hospital rooms and broken bones. Mm -hmm. They don't think about communication using x-rays. We've got a little demo to, to, to get us started, so walk me through what we're going to do here. Sure. So let me put on the speaker. And we got static, but oh. now the music is turning on. So it sounds like a really bad record player. It's a bad record player, right? <laughs> so you're transmitting this this music through an X-ray. Through X-ray, through X-rays. I mean, I think, I think for, for for most people, you would never think that an X-ray can be used to actually send something. Yep. That's yep. really cool. It's just another form of radiation, just like radio or optical. X-ray is just shorter wavelength, and you can, right. if you can control it, you can do everything that you do with other radio waves, yeah, for example. Radio waves. Interesting. So, cool. Yeah. The, the static here. What we've demonstrated with this is that we can control X-rays in, in a really kind of arbitrary way with just you know music. I mean, mm -hmm. um, you know, we can do actually much more sophisticated things. So this is sort of the origin story. This is the origin story of what we're doing now. So, so how is this, you know, transmitting a song through X-rays relevant to what you're trying to do with X-rays today? Once you control the X-ray output, you realize you could transmit information. Once you can do that, you can realize the potential of X-rays in a couple ways. One is that the wavelength is really small, so you can you can direct the X-rays exactly where you want, and on very long distance. That means you spend less power transmitting so many gigabits per second of video from, say, Pluto or Jupiter to the Earth than you would otherwise. If you go to very high energy X rays, there's some other things that you can do that are kind of interesting. If you ever watched the Apollo 13 movie, yeah, you know where um, you know they went around the moon and and they're getting ready to re-enter, and you know there's that moment. There's a it's like three minutes of time where the spacecraft has entered the Earth's atmosphere and they don't know if it skipped off the atmosphere or burnt up. But there's that's this when you're on the edge yeah, of your seat. Right, that's called the radio frequency blackout. It's because you know the thing's going at like you know, 20,000 miles an hour. It's heating up the atmosphere that makes this plasma around the spacecraft that the radios can't pen radio waves can't penetrate. And you're sitting there wondering right. expected time of reacquisition, the time when the astronauts were expected to come out of blackout has come and gone. The x-rays will penetrate that plasma. So wow. vehicles that are going at hypersonic speed, um, and you want if you wanted to communicate to control them or get information from them as they're going at the hypersonic speeds, x-rays could be a way of doing that. As we go out of the solar system, you, you're going to need technologies to kind of communicate with back home. And, and I think x-ray communication might be in the cards as how we get the most data back to Earth as we're visiting Pluto and going beyond. Just for instance, I mean, Google Google is very forward-thinking. Um, we had in our laboratory Vint Cerf, who's the one of the vice presidents of Google, uh, and one of the guys who founded the internet. And Google is thinking about interplanetary internet and what are the technologies that Whoa. you need <laughs> to enable that. And you start thinking about how do you get so many gigabits per second over very long distances and X-ray communication could be part of that picture. Well, they, they have to be thinking about it, right? We're about to have you know, people go to Mars and sometime in the next 10, 20 years, Elon Musk might have it <laughs> even sooner, I don't know. You know, once you have people on, on the surface of Mars and people in the outer planets, you're, you're gonna start thinking about how do you, how do you call home, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not just, you know, picking up your phone, and having a conversation, you might you want to send video, you want to send lots of stuff. You need this infrastructure to enable this deep space communication. And X-ray communication could play a role in that. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. 
And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.